Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sue Finley and for this one, this is one that I created last year but I decided to share the time lapse video because I had some time off over the Christmas period so this is one that I created towards the end of last year. So what I've done here is I've spray painted the, the back of the board silver and then I've applied a clear layer of resin which contains some silver glitter just to give it that extra sparkle just similar to the last one that I shared and now I'm just going to pour on three colours so I've got a, a, an iridescent jade which I will share links in the description as usual and what I'm doing here is you've probably saw me doing a few of my other videos I'm now adding some mineral turpentine which you can use regular turpentine white spirit or anything along those lines anything that it doesn't contain any silicone because what you want is you want the, it to evaporate and not leave any dimples in your resin so that's what I'm doing here so I've just added a little bit of mineral turpentine and then using my heat gun I'm just gonna blow that around a little bit and the mineral turpentine just helps move the resin a little bit easier and helps break it up a touch so it can create some cells and things in your resin. Next I'm using a, a very dark blue, it, all, it looks almost black but it's actually dark blue and when you start blowing this round you will start seeing the blue pigment come out in it. And again I'm just using the mineral turpentine to help move and distribute the resin and just help break it up a little bit and when we come to blow it you'll see that it just starts separating a little bit and it doesn't move the lower layers too much. Now I've not waited for any of these layers to cure at any point these are just poured as you see one after the other. So next I'm just adding some white to give it a little bit more contrast in the piece and so I'm just following the same process where I just drizzle that on as you can see. Now the white was actually sinking a little bit so I'm just going over and just adding a touch more white in there so that when I add the mineral turpentine that will help distribute that a little bit easier. So as you can see I'm just following the lines with the edge of the stick that's just been dipped in some of the turpentine. And where I feel that it just needs a little bit more colour I've just added a little bit more blue. And again some of the turpentine and as you can see that's spreading before I've even started blowing it with the heat gun. And same with the white, just going to move this around and just spread this out a little bit. Now the resin is starting to cure ever so slightly so it's, it's a little bit harder to move at this point. So just adding a little bit more heat, it does help liquefy this a bit and help it move around a little bit, a little bit easier. So now this has been left to cure for about an hour so it's still very sticky and it's now time to add some of the stones. Now you don't need to wait until it's cured any, you can pour these on straight away but I decided, I was undecided initially whether I was going to add any of these stones so I went away and left it for an hour and then I came back and, th and felt it needed a little bit extra so I added the acrylic diamonds to just give it a, a little bit more added bling. I'm just using a spoon to just pour it where I want the stones to go. So if you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.